Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems, and in this video I'm on a Mac. We're going to do a Mac install for the SG3110 for Dysolomation. With the ICC profiles that are obtainable here at Condi through sending an email to your support member, which is a, uh, an email to support at Condi.com, you must be a client, uh, meaning you have purchased your, your, your uh, Dysolomation system here uh, for ICC profiles to be sent to you and they're sent to you only by an email and uh, not on our partner net site as of now so the only way to get it is make sure you send an email to support at condi.com once you have the profile you need to install it so I'm going to show you how to install the profile and then I'm going to show you how to obtain the drivers from our web page which our partner net site so make sure you have a partner net uh, login and password which you can get through your account manager they can tell you how to do that so make sure you th that you have that and that you send the email for your profile those are the two things you're going to need to complete the setup uh, the drivers are on partner net so I'm going to show you how to download the, the drivers and uh, run it and to install it uh, also how to configure your application I'll be using a Photoshop application uh, this one uh, would be Photoshop version 10 elements and then I'm going to show you how to set up your driver settings which is most important uh, in this video driver settings uh, are um, one of the other things that you're going to need so three things profile configurations in the application and configurations in the driver so with those three things done you can complete a set up here with the ICC profile. So I'm going to first take you to our support page which is where I'm at now and you want to go ahead and get started on your download for your driver. So to do that you need to know what version of the Mac that you have and to check your version just click on the Apple and then left click on uh, or just click on about this Mac and as you can see I have version 10.74 and um, that's what I need to know so I can get my driver so click out of that uh, make sure you go to support uh, from the condi.com site and from support you're gonna log in this might be red and if it is you're not logged in and you will not be able to get anything so this is where you're gonna need your username and password I'm already logged in I'm just gonna click on uh, Rico support and from here I'm going to click on Mac drivers now I'm looking for a 10.7 for the SG3110 so I'm going to left click on that to download it and that gives me a, a zip file so I'm going to click on that and it's asking me to open or save I'm going to save it and I recommend you save it as well um, and then I'm going to click OK And that's going to be downloading. Once it's downloaded, you can run it. So you just double click to run it. And keep in mind, my cable is not plugged in yet. So I recommend not to plug in your cable, but your printer do does need to be charged with ink and on ready. So uh, that needs to be to happen before you can complete the install. So I'm going to go ahead and double click my. Um, DMG file here and start running my uh, driver uh, software so I can uh, set it up. Just double click that and click continue and continue in English and these are the terms you're going to accept and click continue and agree and it's telling me where it's going to install it at uh, I can change the location if I want. I'm just going to click install. Now it's asking for my password, so stand by. And then click continue. Now it's telling me that uh, the install was successful. So I'm going to click close. And I can get rid of this this and exit this. Now at this point I'm going to install my ICC profile. 
And to do that, I need to right click and then copy. And where I'm going to go is to my hard drive. So I'm going to click go and I'm going to go to computer. And from here, I'm going to go to my Macintosh hard drive. And then I'm going to go to library. And then I'm going to click on color sync. Double click on profiles. And I'm going to right click and paste item. It's asking for my password. I'm going to click OK. So I've installed the ICC profile for the 3110 and I can X out of here. So now what I'm ready to do at this point is to reboot the Mac and plug up my cable and then turn it back on. So that's what you need to do to get your driver installed. So you're going to reboot the Mac, plug up the cable, and then turn it back on and then I'll show you uh, how to find the rest of the uh, settings for your, uh, to go to your settings and complete the co configuration for the 3110. So let's do that now. Printer, now I can go to my uh, system preferences and from here I can click on uh, print and scan and I'll see my Rico here. Uh, green means good, means everything is successful. It's in an idle state and from here I can uh, go to my print queue and I can also um, go to my utilities and uh, check things from my uh, open printer utility which we don't need to do but I do want to show you how to verify your printer is installed and do a test page if you need to or just do a nozzle check just to uh, verify that you have communication with the Mac and the nozzle check make sure you uh, play along and check to make sure that all the boxes are there full of, full of color however I'm not going to complete this task at this time I just wanted to show you how to make sure your printer is working so I'm going to X out I'm going to click OK, and I know my printer's there. Now I'm ready to go and um, set it up. So what I want to do is open my digital imaging software, which uh, we're going to use Photoshop Elements 10 for this demonstration. And that's going to open up my Photoshop. And from there, we're going to configure the settings for Photoshop Elements 10, and then uh, continue on to the driver settings. So you want to click Edit. And that opens up a new document. And you want to click on the file, new, blank file. And I recommend uh, changing your resolution from here. If you just go to photo and then uh, change your uh, document size to what you want, we're going to choose 8.5 by 11. Um, RGB color setting, transparent is good. Uh, you can name this if you need to. This is just a demonstration but I do want to show you that um, I recommend at least two or three hundred resolution uh, in your document for printing. And then uh, click OK. Now to get to the printer settings we need to put something on the page. I just usually choose a cut shape because I'm not really going to print. I just want to set it up. Uh, however anything will work on the page. So now we want to go to Edit and Color Settings. And here we're going to click this radio button that says Always Optimize for Printing. And we're done. We're just going to click OK. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to our Print Menu. And here's where we're going to be able to choose our printer first, which is the uh, Aficio SG3110DN. Choose my document size, choose my print size, and then I want to go to more options or page setup. I'm going to go to more options. From here is where I want to set up my, uh, if I want to reverse my image, I'm going to click it here. And then I want to go to color management. And we're going to change this to Photoshop Elements Manages Color. The printer profile will now be your SG3110DN RGB SJR underscore version 1.0. So make sure you select that. That's very important for color management. 
and then change this to perceptual under the rendering intent. We're done in this box. Click OK. Now what we want to do is to go to page setup. Make sure that you've selected your correct settings for your page, whether it be letter. Now your page settings should also uh, be correct as far as what you choose in your driver, so they need to match. And then you just click OK. I'm going to click on print. And what that does is it opens up my print dialog so that I can choose my printer here as well and uh, particular settings. I want to show details and this is where we're going to configure the driver. So in here you see that your printer is selected, your presets are default settings at this time, and we're going to change layout um, as well. Now with this version of the Mac, which is the 10.7.4, you can reverse the image. So you check that and you can reverse it. Now if you reverse it in the driver, you have permanent had you have chosen to permanently flip the image with every document. And I recommend it with Dice Sublimation because with most of the products that we sell, you will need to reverse the image. So you may want to select that here and you may be a person who wants to choose it in your app. And that's where I showed you early under flip image under the uh, Photoshop 10 version uh, flipping the image. Okay, so either place but not both is fine. If you flip it here, it will default every time when you print this to this printer. Having said that, we're ready to move on. Change the layout and we're going to go to printer features. Um, from printer features, our feature set, we're going to change that to printer configuration. And under the printer configuration, we're going to make sure that these settings are correct. Cut just color density, those settings are correct as well. Fives, this is calibrating with your printer. So make sure that, that all those uh, are calibrated. They should be on five. In most cases, that's what you're going to see. So let's go back to the setup. From setup, we need to choose our print mode. And our print mode is going to be inkjet plain paper, standard. That's all you need. And our color mode, it's going to be on color, so make sure you're not on black and white. Image adjustment settings, dithering, change that to use era diffusion. Color profile is set to off, and that's how we want it. So make sure you set the color profile to off. From here, we'll just go into some of the other things so that you can see uh, the paper feed setting. Don't change anything here. These are custom settings for user, your user preferences, paper handling, uh, page order, those kind of things. Scale to fit paper, you do not want to do that. And then color matching, of course, nothing to do here. And then back to layout. Um, so once you have completed your settings for the uh, GX3110, I'm sorry, the SG3110, you want to make sure that you save them. To, to save them, you're going to go back up to presets where it says default settings, drop down, and you're going to click save current setting as preset. It's going to ask you to name the setting, call it Condi ICC, and then click OK. Now, if I were ready to print, I would click print, but I'm not going to print. I just wanted to configure the driver for color management with the Condi ICC profile. And everything is completed here, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So, now when I go back in here, what we should see under the print settings, again, that's where you flip your image if you want to flip it here. Color management should be the uh, SG3110, Photoshop Elements Manages Color, and Perceptual. And then clip o click OK. Page setup. 
you can do that as well and then go to print make sure you drop down so you can see everything meaning if this is shown as hid click show details that's important now what I should see in here is to choose the uh, Condi ICC so make sure that's selected every time especially on your fir first print so we are canceling out so it may very well change the setting so when you go to print for the first time make sure you set it to Condi ICC under your presets and I'm gonna, I don't want to print so I'm just going to cancel out so this is Vicky with Condi and um, we have finished setting up the uh, settings for the 3110 uh, Rico printer and how to install the ICC profile, how to configure the application, and how to configure the driver. I've also included how to download the driver in the video. So with all these things done, it should complete your setup for um, your Mac and Photoshop. With most Photoshop versions, you'll work the same way as far as how to set up color management, especially with the elements. They all look pretty much the same. Uh, make sure you choose your profile in the app and then set up your driver to turn off color management as I had shown you and save your custom setting. So if you have any questions, be sure to get in touch with me. You can go to 2 when you call into 1-800-826-6332. Go to 2 for support. That'll ring the first available technician. Thank you for your time.